is a special reading. This is where is Venus in your natal chart? Okay, so there's a Venus retrograde going on, and it's going on in Capricorn. Shout out to Capricorn, it's happy belated birthday. <laughs> and um, now it's in Aquarius. Happy birthday to all the Aquarius that's out there. Happy Aquarius season. And so find where Venus is in your natal chart. It could be an air sign. It could be an earth sign. It could be in a fire sign. It could be in a water sign. Who knows? But this is a reading. So if it's if I'm mentioning Aries, I'm mentioning that you have Aries, a Venus in Aries. If I'm mentioning uh, Cancer. That means you have your Venus and cancer all right and this is what's going to tell you what's going to be going down and february 14th is coming up so some people celebrate valentine's day some people don't you do what you do <clears throat> but everybody wants to know about love right everybody wants to know about love even if you are in love you still looking to see about you know what's present what's in the future etc why you in this type of love so people want to be loved, especially for the past two years with all this separation, you know, um, being forced upon everybody and all that good stuff. Um, it's keeping people separate and we're going to be seeing the consequences of that soon, okay? And we're already seeing the consequences of it, but it's going to get worse, okay, if, if everything keeps going the way it's going. So at this point, people are looking for love, want love, want to improve love. Um, may say, hey, I don't want to love a person, but love a person, a particular thing, a particular um, project that I want to do, that um, I love, you know, get into something I love, whatever it is, or it, just to increase your love, you know, maybe you feel like uh, you just cold as ice, you know what I mean? So, and, and Capricorn, to Venus and Capricorn, is, it can kind of feel like that, it really can, because Cap is a cold place. <laughs> a cold place so imagine Venus in a cold place you know unless she dipped out in her furs and whatnot you know what I mean she she minked out and whatnot and for all the, the um, animal people I'm sorry but that's just the way it was back in the day and now that we got new technology you can go with the fox fur you know what I'm talking about so um you know this is that time for everybody you know for the next um you know 15 days you know what I mean so and then after that hits Valentine's Day so some realizations is gonna be done some things are gonna be coming to an end you know what I mean some things are gonna be set in stone some boundaries are gonna be drawn some structures and organization and relationships is gonna be done you know with everybody's gonna be more looking to that long-lasting type stuff foundational strong can't nothing break it you know people would want that and if they don't want that they are not willing to sacrifice okay so um and if you are in a relationship or whatever you're trying to fill out how can i you know separate because this is just not right you know what i mean this is not practical <laughs> you know so it's it's in the air so if you're feeling like that no matter what your venus is in whatever zodiac sign your venus is it's just the overall energy period and it's sitting there so it want, it's like rubbing it in you know it's like somebody putting um salt on a wound you know it's gonna burn you know you might want to punch the person for doing that or somebody crack put something back in place and they gotta snap it and it was painful for that two seconds but oh my gosh after you know you settled in everything is cool you know so it's kind of like that right now so um tough love <laughs> that's another way to put it tough love so let's get started into everybody's reading. Um, this is going to be Venus and whatever Venus is in your chart, that zodiac sign. All right, this is for if you have Venus and Sagittarius, you can look at your natal chart and you can see if you have Venus and Sag, but this is for you, the Three of Pentacles. So whatever you are into, whatever your love, your heart, you know, your third chakra, everything, you know, whatever is coming to you is like structured, is organized. 
um, whoever you're working with, whether it's a love interest partner, whether you're already married, um, engaged, whether it's a partnership in your business or um, just with anybody that you are externally using or not using but working together in order to build something you know whether that's to build a, a sturdy relationship you know based on foundation based on longevity based on you know long term um goals together things like that it's working in your favor it's harmonious um if you have a business partner you know it's harmonious it's working together it's structured um and within everything the communication is is good you know it's about um you know being on the right page you know and everybody's both agreeing and understanding clearly so and it's, it's building a strong very organized love very strong organized business very strong organized project idea whatever it is that you are looking to create or manifest and you're working with others um to do that it is working for others who feel like, oh, that's not me. Even though I've been so sad, well, it's time to get the blueprint going, okay? It's time to actually sit out and actually draw a plan about what your future goals and put some time and energy into it and let your heart, um, you know, and your intuition guide you on what you need to do and how you need to ground that in order to create something that is tangible, that works, you know what I mean? That is hard to, to break. It's so strong, it has a strong formation um, and something that you appreciate, whatever you love to appreciate. And that could be a person, place, or thing. So have a good day and night, Venus and Sagittarius.